wrapping it in this welding blanket to keep the heat in. I only have exposed the area that I need to weld on. Alright, the welding is finished. We'll go ahead and go put this back on the barbecue grill. Well, there's the manifold on the barbecue grill, and uh, this time I was actually smart and I put my welding blanket on top of it. I probably should have done this to begin with. I uh, probably would have gotten a better uh, heat soak on that, uh, on that exhaust manifold. Uh, but nonetheless, uh, the welding's done. We'll get a better shot of it. Uh, once this thing cools off but for the time being I'm probably just gonna let those coals burn down there not too much of them left and uh, it'll uh, cool this thing off uh, nice and slow so uh, hopefully we don't get any cracks so once the coals burn down on the barbecue grill I pulled the uh, the exhaust manifold off and I just left it wrapped uh, here in the welding blanket and I uh, just left it overnight uh, so this thing is as cold as it's going to get. So let's have a look at it. So that weld is certainly nothing to brag about, but it's going to hold and I don't see any cracks or anything like that in the cast iron. So really all this has to do is be a, a, a leak proof seal more or less. It's really not supporting a lot of weight. Uh, just a short section of the exhaust before it gets to one of the exhaust hangers uh, off the frame of the truck. Uh, but there's a little bit of porosity in the weld, but I was kind of expecting that when you're welding on a on really any kind of cast iron, you can get some porosity, but especially when you're welding on, on, on an exhaust manifold or any sort of cast iron component that's attached to, the, to an engine, you're going to get grease and oil and other kind of contaminants. So uh, sometimes it can be kind of difficult to get all of that removed. Uh, I did the best I could uh, getting this ground smooth. So uh, this piece is all finished up. Now I just got to uh, uh, modify the exhaust to accept the other end of this header collector. And uh, this little project will be all finished. So I appreciate y'all watching. And if you haven't subscribed, please subscribe.